Well, hello folks. I've decided to do something totally different today. It's nothing to do with CB whatsoever. Uh, you'll probably be aware that um, I'm a licensed radio amateur and so is uh, Mark and, uh, and Mr Chippy and so on. You know, it's something we do. But what we concentrate on, instead of buying the branded things, we tend to build things. So I wanted to, something for, uh, to transmit on top band with. And I'm a good friend, uh, the electric man, who sometimes pops up on the CB on these tests. He said, uh, I haven't heard you on top band. I said, you're right, you haven't. So uh, we're going to build this uh, double side band, um, about 4 watts QRP top band transmitter. And you'll see it's from the November 1983 Practical Wireless. Now, unfortunately, all our things here are 19-inch rack mounts. So you'll see it going in a ridiculously large cabinet. But that's unfortunately how it fits into the stuff here. So what I've done, I've to scan that and... Uh, We've been getting the components together, and you'll see this uh, good grief, what have we been buying? Anyway, that's some of the parts, and we needed to make the printed circuit boards for the project. And let's have a look what we've... Now there's the masters in the, in the scan. So then we... Mr Chippy did them exactly the right size on one piece of paper so that was our kind of test master to make sure everything fitted together properly and then we've um, yeah he's sliding that printed circuit board on so then we've done it the photo sensitive method using the uh, um, ultraviolet exposure the developer and uh, the bubble etcher and um, at the moment we've just been trimming these to size and uh, Mr Chippy is currently drilling them. Uh, would you like to just show your finger? I wonder if we'll just get your finger into the frame. He's actually been drilling his finger as well. Not on purpose. No. And that was one of his boards rather than one of these boards. With a handheld drill and With not this. <laughs> So the next thing we're going to be doing is uh, putting the green um, coating on the board and we'll be soldering some of the components in place. So we'll break away from the video. As you can see the boards are just about done and we'll put the camcorder back on uh, when we've started putting a few parts in. Now Mr Chip has drilled the holes, what we're going to now do is to take the photosensitive covering off the printed circuit boards. And the first thing we're going to do is to, to do that is to ultraviolet expose it so we can remove it with the developer bath. So I may as well show you that. So you can see they're now face down, emulsion side down on the ultraviolet, um, ultraviolet, what am I talking about? Yeah, it is ultraviolet. And then we'll just set that, three minutes is adequate. Clamp those down. And then we'll come back to that when it's been exposed. So what we're going to do now, having taken the boards out of the ultraviolet exposure unit after three minutes, is to put them in this um, developer bath. It'd be helpful if I did two at a time or something. And I'll just agitate that actually. This is a thermostatically controlled one and then we'll have those if I don't bump into the camera we'll have those out in a jiffy There's no doubt it's starting to come off it is indeed and there we go with the finished boards the next thing we're going to do is to put the green coating on which aids the flux in this case and then we'll start soldering the parts in so here we are with the printed circuit boards, about to start assembling some components. So we're looking at the 
Um, print side, I'll just zoom in and we can actually see if there's some print on there. And then we'll come back to the camera when Mr. C's put some components in. Right, well that's how far we've got to uh, today and it's uh, Saturday. So I think we'll leave it at that and uh, I'll upload this video. This will be part one and uh, then we'll come back to this and uh, do a part two. And uh, Mr. Chippy's been busy putting components in on these. Um, what does it look like on the other side? Yes, right. Okay. So there's three boards. One's the VFO. One's obviously the the amplifier, but the transistors the, the three. Well, I say amplifier. It's three watts, isn't it? Which is that one. And uh, is that the filter board? Anyway, that's how far we've got with it. The reason Mr. Chippy's just disappeared off is actually drilled through his finger. And uh, yesterday he put all the holes in with our mini press drill and it's all easy to use and everything and super safe. And he missed a hole so he got his uh, hand drill out and he did one more hole and he, he managed to drill through his finger. Well this afternoon he was putting one of those capacitors in and he managed to poke the lead of the capacitor through the hole which was already in his finger. So that made him yelp. And then just now he'd missed another hole, put a 0.7 millimeter drill bit through his uh, left hand. So he, he's uh, now got three injuries. So that's Mr. Chippy. So we'll come back to this when he gets a bit better. <laughs>